Back in 2021, in the final weeks of Donald Trump's presidency, Republican lawmakers issued a rare rebuke to the commander in chief. They joined with Democrats to issue a check on Trump's executive power by overriding the president's veto of a major military defense bill. It was the first time Trump's party stood up to him in this kind of way, and it proved to be embarrassing in more ways than one. Part of the reason why the former president vetoed this big defense bill to begin with was because it included a provision that required the Pentagon to strip military bases of their Confederate names. But removing the names of traitors and slave owners who fought against this country and lost, that was apparently a bridge too far for Donald Trump. In the end, the Senate voted overwhelmingly, 81 to 13, to override the president's veto. And, it commissioned, and a commission was established to recommend new names for those bases. This year, the Pentagon began that mission. One of the bases on their list was Fort Lee in Virginia, named after the leader of the Confederacy. In April, Fort Lee officially became Fort Greg Adams, named after two black officers who fought fiercely against segregation in the military. Very fitting. And starting today, the Army's largest base, Fort Bragg, will now be known as Fort Liberty. The North Carolina base has officially given up the name of its unpopular Confederate namesake, opting instead to honor one of the founding principles of this country.